us get back to the ship. I need a drink. In case you weren't much of a renegade player, Zaid makes up for it. Like, all of it. Aside from Zaid's character and stories, what I personally enjoy is why Zaid's here. Zaid is the galaxy's most feared bounty hunter and mercenary soldier. We're looking for the best of the best. Well, this guy makes a living being the best mercenary. He's a pro. He was retconned to be a co-founder of one of the merc groups you're up against. So what does Tim do? He hires him. Even if this is just an email, this is understood. In comparison to Jack and Kasumi, this makes perfect sense. He took a shot at the head and survived on rage. Despite that, he's pretty well adjusted, aside from that whole PTSD revenge he gets every night. He's also a free download. That's 510 megabytes of assault rifling, grenade throwing, blow stuff up awesomeness. Because he's DLC, he's totally optional. He doesn't get the same dialogue wheel we're used to. Ironically enough, we get a whack of detailed stories from his 20 year mercenary career from him directly or by enabling objects in his room on the Normandy. He's pretty much selling us on how much of a badass he's been, which contradicts his inferred usefulness as a military leader in the suicide mission. He's definitely not perfect, but arguably one of the best for the job. Money and revenge. Isn't it nice finding a job you always wanted because you downloaded him? Third guy you meet on Omega, you say hello, he comes with you. And he wants to take down Vito Santiago. Bada bingo! Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. Zaid's loyalty involves the revenge of an old business partner who helped co-found the Blue Suns with him. Vito Santiago betrayed him by turning his own men against him. After arriving at the location, Zaid's only goal is to kill Vito. This is at the expense of potentially destroying the entire base, leaving innocent workers trapped inside. Choosing to save the innocent workers takes Shepard down a Paragon path, where we eventually get to the confrontation with Zaid's revenge. This is where Zaid gets a character arc, teaching him the value of working with a team, provided Shepard has enough good guy points. Now you don't have to go down this path and can act like the renegade Zaid is, and instead of taking the time to save the workers, just cut off Vito's escape attempt, ultimately getting Vito killed in a rather explosive and Hollywood-style manner. <laughs> He's useless, even though he arguably shouldn't be. So thanks Bioware for letting us have a free DLC UK badass to help amp up the rest of the badass on the ship. And now we come to the three most useless or silliest characters to exist in the Mass Effect universe.